It's an early start today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the show on the road. At the moment, it's not raining, but we are going to take a bag just in case with a coat inside. This is what you want to use for your hair, guys. Or Hans de Fuko Claymation, which was the original one that I had. But yeah, give it a go. It's expensive, but it's so good. We don't actually have time to eat, so we're just going to throw these into the bag. Let's go. And our standard black coffee before we leave. This is the coffee that I go for. It's um, rated four on the dark scale. Our attire for today. Our long sleeve, pastel green t-shirt, I like to say. And some black skinny jeans. And some New Balance. Let's go. On the first train. Time to eat two of these. When we've got at least some space for the buffet. We're in Banbury now waiting for the second train to get on and that'll take us to Birmingham. And then from Birmingham we have to get a train to Nottingham and stop off at Derby and then we're finally there. What's going on guys? Just got into Birmingham, just got our tickets to Nottingham. It's not too busy, uh, I thought it'd be busier but uh, a lot of police on site which is pretty cool. So we've got 20 minutes to kill. We're only going to got ourselves a Starbucks. Let's get this down us now, man. Need some energy so I can eat loads of food. We've just got into Derby in your neck of the woods, Dodsy, mate. I'm coming for you, bro. Doesn't look too good in um, Derby Station compared to Birmingham, anyway. Well, you know, you'll get there one day, lad. I suppose you have got a pumpkin cafe, though, bro. I suppose you have got a pumpkin cafe. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Even your trains in Derby are shit lad. Definitely not a virgin train this one. Definitely not a virgin train this one. I'll just plug my charger in. Oh, no charging for me. Hello? Hey. Hi. What's up? Hi, how are you sir? I'm great, thanks. How are you mate? How are you sir? And one second mate, the person on the train speaking at the moment, you'll have to bear with me. Alright, uh, go for it now mate, sorry. I'll wait to start speaking for one second. Can you hear me now? Wait, two seconds, the woman's still speaking. Alright, yeah, I'll wait, she's started again. Alright, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so did you have any car accidents in the last three years? No, who said that? Did you have any car accidents? I said no. Who has told you I have? Oh, okay, that's fine. Excuse so me, I'm going to have right? to contact the police. Okay, we're going to get another bagel bonus, so that makes three bagels before we get to the buffet. And I just can't wait now to eat. We're going to go hard with the sushi. Okay, guys, we've got the first train in High Wycombe at seven and it is currently 10.41 and we are in Nottingham. Let's go and get some food. Well, that was a weird one in the toilet guys. The uh, soap said hair and body wash shower gel. So I've never seen that one before. But everything happens in Nottingham, eh? Just coming down these stairs then. And we're on route to the buffet. Good to be back in the Midlands. Yeah. The buffet has just opened. As you can see, the masses are with us today. It's World Buffet we're in, and it's got like an aeroplane scene to it. All right, this is the first bar in this buffet. Very cool. So it's like. You come down a set of stairs there, and then I just came down there, and then we go down there, and that's the buffet. So for anyone that's in the Nottingham area, definitely come and check this world buffet out. Um, I haven't been told to say that, I'm just saying it because it is the best buffet that I've ever been to. And the last two times I've been here, they had unlimited sushi, so definitely a, definitely a winner there. Right guys, quickly whilst no one's here. This is the toilet. That detailing, bruh.
Alright, so this is a before video of the court. And next time to eat and do an after one. A lot of nice decoration, got the aeroplane over there, you've got like, you can, um, the sun I think, I don't know, stars maybe, and the planet Earth, and over here, over here, we've got aeroplane seats, so if you come in with like six people, it's pretty neat eh, best buffet that I've been to anyway, let's go and get the food. Let's get this saucy buffet on the go. I'm doing this as a voiceover as there was music in the background when I was describing it all. But I can take over right from now. So here we go. All right, so there's the Karachi Street part of the buffet. Uh, basically, you get your plate there and then fill up on anything you want. So it's unlimited. The whole buffet is unlimited. And here I am just giving you a show of like, the majority of things that they have. Even though after this, I realized that I probably didn't even get it all in. I think I did my best. So they've got the English section here. You've got like chicken nuggets, onion rings, chips. I'm eating popcorn right now. Non-stop eating today. Um, here it's pretty cool. You give them like pasta and like what you want in the pasta and uh, make it all up for you. Really nice, mix it all together. See, I like food like that where it's all mixed, loads of different flavors. Here, like unlimited pizza. Remember, everything's unlimited, so if you see something, you're allowed unlimited of it. Okay, this is some of my favourite part. Sometimes they have like steak, turkey, whatever, but this like roasted guman or something, I don't know. To be honest, I've never heard of that. But this is like more of the English part as well. Yorkshire pudding. And I'm like, oh, desserts. Let's go. Best selection of desserts I've ever seen in a, in a buffet. Remember, this is a world buffet, so it's not just a Chinese one, it's not an Indian one, it's not English, it's a world one. Massive, massive selection. They're the build up uh, fountain sometimes as well. If not, you just dip your marshmallows in there. But yeah, literally, man, that is one selection. And those are those Indian sweets, if anyone's ever had those, are really, really. Sweet Indian sweets. I'm not a massive fan, but I guess some people are. They're way too sweet for me. All right, over here. Live sweet life. Live live sweet pancakes. So the woman makes the pancakes for you, and you got a choice of what you want inside of it. Really nice, good selection. And here we have got. <laughs> the cold stone ice cream store or something. <laughs> but this is absolute heaven. Bubblegum and toffee, two best flavours. And you can have a sundae if you want. So they'll make up what, what you want like. The toppings and everything. Alright, moving on to here. This is like more the Chinese section. You've got the, the chicken wings, the spring rolls. Uh, I think they're more onion rings, I'm not sure. <laughs> they like the onion rings, this world buffet. But as you can see, there's such a massive selection. Every part is a selection. In the middle there, you give them noodles instead of pasta. Um, and like chicken and whatever, and they cook it in front of you. Now this is the best part, obviously. It's sushi. It's the best part of the buffet. All sorts of sushi, as you can see. The last one on the end is tuna, which I did try. I didn't actually mention it in the video, but I did try the tuna one. And I am actually a big fan of it. It tasted really good. Olives there. It's very rare you see like olives being given, unlimited olives. I'm not a massive fan, but unlimited olives are pretty cool. These are all your little things and Bombay mix and stuff, you know, the little additions. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. Alright, guys, we've got roasted vegetables. Four different types of sushi that one's omelette and that one's salmon and those two are just like vegetables asparagus and stuff um beef and black bean sauce and some chicken kung pao whatever that is and that bird so we're just going to eat that now and second plate is we've got the basically the same sushi but we've got some crab 
sushi, just thought I'd give it a try. So we've done here an infusion. We've got the cashew chicken and we've put a sprinkle of Bombay mix into it to add a bit of crunch. And then we have got butter naan bread and some mango chutney. So let's destroy this plate and move on to the third plate. All right guys, plate number three. Back on the sushi grind, four spring rolls there, butter naan bread and some curry. Forgot, forgot which one it was, aloo or something like that. Not too sure. Um, and after that, we're going straight into this tropical pancake. So it's got different fruits inside there and some cream. <laughs> Let's go. All right, this is the fifth plate. We've got um, black bean and beef and some chicken curry. Chinese style and um, another pancake. Onto the ice cream, we've got a toffee one, a bubblegum one, and a mango one right there. And we have got biscuit bits on top and also coconut. So let's go. All right, finish the buffet and post physique check. Whoa. So we just got back and literally we've got no electricity. I don't know why because we're seven pound on the meter thing but it's not working. And something very, very weird is happening. There is a squeak coming from here. And it smells of Bombay mix. Okay, let's listen for the squeak. There we go. Now what is making that noise? It's locked. Fuck like, damn mate, why you locked the door bro? <coughs> we have power. So the thing that was making that awful beeping sound, which I thought was in Dan's room, was a fucking one of these hanging from the ceiling. Cause the, um, the window fitter people broke it and then just left it hanging from the ceiling. Anyway guys, it has been Greg Lock Fitness. I am fucking shattered. Three hours sleep the whole day, but tomorrow all these carbs are going to be absorbed and it's chest and triceps. So, heavy lifts. See you tomorrow, guys. Peace. Actually, what am I about to see tomorrow? This will be uploaded on the same day, as far as I know, unless I edit it now.